Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. Uh, so it's the same thing I would just say with anything that introduces oxidation or antioxidation in the body, right? Yeah. Like, like you don't need to overdo it. Well, so a couple of different things went into this because that's, like I said, when I was looking at Tesla stuff, it, the normal course, you bubble, like you said, ozone through an oil, changes the viscosity, creates the ozonides, breaks down into, in this case, I used sunflower oil. So it breaks down into four different degradation byproducts and they're all ozonides and they're all active. So it's still organic sunflower oil. It's just reconfigured so that it has, you know, unstable components. But Tesla did this thing that was brilliant. I mean, the guy was very sharp and he kept it in a vat for eight weeks with exposure to high strength magnetic fields. Nobody's done that for the past hundred years. So when I was looking at it, I thought, okay, this guy's really bright. He's probably not trying to triple his expenditure and take three times as long too to do this. So what's he doing? And ozone's polar. So he's actually orienting, using the fields to orient the molecule so he can create a higher density of active compounds per unit volume. And so it, it was truly brilliant. I mean, when I figured out what he was doing, I thought, damn, wow, that's really smart. Nobody's even noticed it for the past hundred years. But then I thought, well, what would he do now, right? Because I have a whole lot of tech that literally, you know, things like lasers that he actually had postulated, but right. the technology just literally wasn't there. So I've got plasma drivers and rife generators and lasers and all kinds of, you know, dichroic beam splitters and all sorts of stuff at my disposal. So I thought, okay, what would he do? And that kind of led me down a whole another rabbit hole. Uh, but in the in the end, it became apparent, like, the, you know, the biocharger guys, they have a device with a Tesla coil and they're using high voltage, high frequency stuff. Well, this does too. So I'm using arc discharge plasma to create the ozonides. And then I take that and I, I set it aside and then I get it to resonate. And then I use lasers to entrain the resonant frequencies by splitting the beams. Effectively, it's turning it into a holographic gel. Uh, 